All right, so I got all the fender flares off, finally. I mean, this this was a really a bit of a struggle to take these fender flares off, but I finally got the last one off. This one was the hardest because clearly this took a hit at some point, and uh, it, it, I don't even know if it had a real patch job. I think it just kind of, they left it there and painted over it with yellow paint because we all know that's how body shops fix <laughs> damage. Like, I don't know, and then, you know, they had the nerve to, like, you could tell that at some point they painted this, you know, uh, they painted this so it just, it's all over the body. I mean, how, how shitty, how shitty of a person can you be if you're going to paint something and not even use tape just to, just to go around it, just to make it at least even, which, you know, this didn't come out, left it on the body, and at some point that yellow paint also got onto the fender flare, so, <sighs> sometimes I just kind of scratch my head, but I thought I'd just uh, mention that one last time because after this, it's not going to be like that anymore. And uh, the other one was <laughs> just to add to, you know, where this, what, what's been on with this thing. This one was glued into the uh, the socket there where the uh, signal marker would go. Uh, because I think they uh, they hit this this little thing that's on this one. It's, uh, it's kind of like a screw, but not really. Like I had to sort of screw it off, but it came off pretty easy. And this kind of goes in sideways and then clicks in. So that's, that's pretty good, except for the fact that this was kind of hard to get to. And with this bent, oh my god, was it was it difficult to get my hand up and in here, I'll tell you. But I got all of them off and again had to pull off these two. Luckily this one was already off, which I'm totally okay with because these are a real pain. And uh, I'm probably going to end up, because this this isn't even moving. And these, these this is just sliding and there's no way to, this is like actually on this side, instead of being like these, where it's got a, kind of like a, a pin it goes into and it's already kind of annoying because you can't really, you got to get your hand in there to hold it, which is... Let me tell you, it was a real pain. But this one has got like kind of like a, you won't be able to see it, but it's kind of got like a thin rivet, and there's nothing to hold on to. So they never intended this to come out. I, I, I'm just not sure about the design choice there, but this is this is out now. I'll, I'll have to cut these out or yank these out or something and just replace them with something easier, like a, a, uh, like a pin or something just to hold it in there. Because the rest, it was in there really good, even with just a couple of them on, it was still in there pretty good, but... Now they're all off, I can, uh, I can get working on these. These will be the same color. I don't have this shitty, shitty paint on here anymore. I'm going to go ahead because I think a lot of this is just going to... Uh, maybe not. I thought a lot of this would just etch off of the body there. But we'll see. Potentially some someday down the road there may be a time where uh, everything else is done and I can uh, things are going well with this and I can repaint it. But now is not that time. But I do want to make the paint the fender flares and they're all going to... They're really going to look good. And uh, other than that, I just uh, I went on a little PR15 spree. Um, I did some more of the frame under carriage. Nothing, nothing really to brag about. Did a couple, a little bit on the YJ and the plow we have, but I uh, primarily did these. You can see that's kind of in there. This is still very wet because I hit these both with two coats. I just wanted it to be, you know, absolutely sure. I went along the sides here where I could get uh, along the creases where there was a little bit of rust. You could see coming through this side too. And I tried everything to get this uh, this nut out, this screw here. But it, the other side is just so bad. The the nut underneath where it should be square for a wrench to go into it has uh, has curved, so it's kind of like a circle now. And I the correct size wrench just uh, it won't fit in there. So that's unfortunate. I'm gonna have to go ahead and cut that out. But uh, other than that, this is, this is gonna dry well. And then I'm just gonna cut out a piece of metal now to roughly meet the shape of this. And I'm gonna stick it in there with uh, some pour patch on the other side, pour patch at the front. I'm gonna bend this metal down, sand it smooth, and then bedline it. I think it's gonna. I think it's really gonna be the best possible solution for this. And I, if if it comes out the way I can picture it, it's gonna look really good along with the rest of this. So the day's coming close to an end, but I think I'm gonna be able to finish all that and pour patch that by the end of the night, so that I can just uh, cure overnight and harden. I can start working on the fender flares and get a coat on them, and uh, I can clean this all out, wipe this whole tub down, and start sanding. So things went about as good as uh, as good as I think they can go, really. That is, a, that is a huge difference from what it was before. That that crack there was unsettling and then pulling it all back, that was not exactly what I thought it'd be, but I, I guess it was still, you know, okay. This I'd show you if I didn't uh, if I didn't have this sitting down on it. It was kind of at a weird angle because it only kind of slid into the front, but not to the uh, the back there. But it still covered the hole and I crawled underneath and I found that hole and I, I can't imagine what this hole was for. Like, I, if, if you were underneath here, you would see there was just a small hole there and then just the, the floor pan here. There was nothing for the, there was nothing, you know, no screw for the hole to go into, nothing like that, so 
that that's just one of those things that I've just kind of I'm scratching my head. I, I cannot for the life of me figure out what why they would have a little cut out hole there. Because the only thing I saw it good for was getting water up in the uh, in between the metal and cracking the uh, floor there. But it's all sealed it from the top now. That's pressing down on it pretty good. And then underneath, I went with some of the pour patch and got a good chunk under there, like I did on the piece over there. And that that piece is rock hard. I mean, that is like part of the body. Now you wouldn't. It, it's so hard. It, it's it's probably harder than the metal to be honest with you, for the floor metal underneath there. So that's pretty good. And this this didn't go out quite the way I wanted to. I had cleaned it all out, went around the edges with the pour patch, and then I had had this in here earlier. It slipped right in. It was perfect. Then I you know coated this thing in pour patch, tried to put it in there, and I, it just I don't know. It didn't quite fit. So I ended up getting pretty messy. Taking a chisel, hammer, really getting it in there. You know, getting it into the sides, pressing it in so it was in. And then what I did is I took the the metal that was kind of twisted up that I twisted up and then I hammered it back down and put more pour patch and now I'm just gonna leave it like that for now and ideally if everything works out it'll harden I'll sand it tomorrow and kind of smooth it out as best I can and that's uh, just gonna go over it like that and honestly I think it's not gonna be too bad I mean it, there was really no you know making that perfect again that's not something that could just magically be perfect so based on what I could do I think that's gonna come out pretty well when the whole bed liner kind of sits on it maybe I'll even blast it a little bit heavy and it'll kind of just even out well I like to think positive. And honestly, that went pretty well. So I met all my goals for the day. I got all the fender flares off. I got everything else out. I got these, the the two cracks are taken care of and patched, so they'll be good tomorrow. The only thing I didn't do that uh, I kind of wanted to do was I wanted to take the bumper off. So I started on the other side. I'd gotten this one off. This one was a real pain. These are really thick uh, screws. And then there were two here that go, and I got this one out. But then I realized you can't get to the one up here unless you take this off, which is kind of like where the the back of the body sits on the bumper. I'm not exactly sure how that all works. So I'm thinking now I'm like, oh, this is a real pain. I don't want to, I didn't want to waste time doing this. That might lead nowhere just to get the bumper off. I, I mean, I really, really want to bedline my back bumper. I have my front bumper off now, but I really, really want to bedline the, the back one all the way around. And I don't want to, I mean, I guess I could just do it right on here, but I think I'm going to give it another crack tomorrow. I'll see what I can do. Look up some stuff, maybe see if I can, uh, figure out a way to get something in here and twist this off and take this bumper off because I also want to POR15 the, the rest of the inside there because you can see I only got so far but uh, I got the front fender flares off got them all here I got these sanded down already so they're gonna be ready to go I gotta clean out the uh, the front where the uh, signal marker should go and I cannot believe they had glue holding it in there it's just that is so bad uh, this one's giving me trouble because, you know, even though this is starting to chip in some places, this paint is actually not coming off too easy. So I'm going to just scrub this down real good and probably mostly paint over it. And I think it'll be just fine. I'm not worried about it. They'll all be the same color. I'll be, you know, all look nice together. It's going to be good. And uh, the only other thing I'm going to do probably is I'm going to take this. And this, this is just so bad here, you can tell, because it took the hit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do my best to hammer this back down because this is actually supposed to be flat, not bumped out like this. I'm going to try to hammer that, uh, the fender flare for this side, sort of more into the way it should be. And I'm going to try to pull this out a little bit and see if I can get it to stick. So it's, because if you look at this from a distance, you can tell this is kind of lopsided. So I want to try and just make that as even as possible. It's not the end of the world if I don't get it quite right, but. And uh, then it's just got to, uh, not, I don't want to drill out, but probably saw out the ones of these that aren't going to come out. Figure out exactly what to do with this. And uh, honestly, start prepping. By the end of the morrow, I foresee uh, this is this is just I'm I'm actually pretty happy with this the way this came out. I'm I am happy, and I'm sure it's gonna come out good too. But yeah, I, I hit all my goals for the day, and that's that's a good sign. I uh, I got a good amount of time left. Tomorrow will be uh, a day to finish up some of those things, uh, figure out what to do with that wiring there, and then start prepping. And by the end of the day, tape off. And the next day is probably the day to actually start laying down the bed liner. So all the, I'm hoping all my hard work will pay off. It's, it's all for that. I can see it now.